All right, Power Style G2 here, and holy crap, man. My hero is crazy right now. This raid arc is insane. All right, um, so let's get in. Let's just keep rolling here. Um, last time we left uh, poor Miracle, she, uh, she's, she's winning, but she did lose a hand, so uh, yeah, it'll be... But I think we're about to cut away from her, um, you know, because at the end of the last chapter, it ended with uh, Skeptic, you know, kind of telling every warning everyone a little too late that the heroes are here and they're bust, they're literally busting down the walls of the mansion. So let's get into chapter 263 of My Hero Academia. Uh, so yeah, here we see. Uh, we, uh, we see the heroes, the the second team of heroes that are going to the mansion. Uh, where they're they are outside. Uh, almost time. Uh, get up, grape juice. Oh, and the uh, the chapter is titled uh, "I Wanna Be with You Guys." Okay, so that's two sixty three's chapter. So yeah, get up, grape juice. <laughs> we see the little Mineta sitting on a rock. Why? Uh, the rear guard's uh, job is to catch the ba uh, any bad guys who slip past the front line. That's my Mineta. <laughs> I'm sticking to it. That's my Mineta impression. Uh, Saro. Oh, no, he's still... Uh, uh, so getting all pumped up is actually kind of insulting to the pros, right? Get up. <laughs> Saro's not having any of Mineta's bullshit. Uh, Jiro's headphone jacks are going into the ground. Uh, so yeah. And she's, uh, listening. Oh, yeah, and then there's this, uh, this tiger-looking dude, uh, saying, It's starting. What? You said that so casually. So yeah, she's, so Jiro's listening. They're on the move. This operation has brought heroes together on an unprecedented scale. But that's no reason to relax just yet. Uh, what, the mean, uh, what this means is that we need everyone here to face the massive threat in front of us. So we see uh, Kirishima, Jiro, Mineta, Momo, Saro, Ojiro, Shoji, uh, Ashido. Uh, Hagakure is right next to her. So, yeah, well, um... It's Sato and Ayama too in the back, so yeah, it's a, a lot of pretty much all class one A is in this group. So Jiro says not to uh, not too worried about Tokoyami, but what about? And the Momo uh, puts her hand her hands on her shoulders. I'm sure he'll be just fine. Here we see Kaminari. Looking pretty scared. He's got to run. It looks like he's running, freaked out. I want to be with you guys. So there's the the title of the chapter, spoken by Kaminari. Oh, got an epic. Uh, looks like a double page spread here. Big epic shot of all the heroes going into action. We got Kamui Woods, Miss Joke, uh, some other guy with headphones. He looks pretty cool. This other guy, he's got like, like a cool like body suit type of costume. He's like going like this, and I see I see midnight. Uh, her nemesis, <laughs> Mount Lady, my boy Ed Shot. I, I really want to see some Ed Shot action. Uh, he's he's one of my favorites. Uh, we got Cementos, Gang Orca. Uh, just a bunch of heroes. Some of that I don't recognize all of them, but it's a lot of them. I think that and that's Juzo. I think, um, yeah, that's Juzo from Class One B. Someone else who has like, like kind of looks like a koala, maybe right? He's way in the background. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a bunch of heroes. That person kind of looks like Hawks, but that can't be Hawks. I think it's a woman, but <laughs> yeah, it's just a lot of heroes. Going into action. Oh, there's uh, the other dude I want to see. Um, I forgot. I think it's Lion. I think that's his name. Like he's like, he's one of the heroes that the kids um, trained with recently. Yeah, he's uh, he's. Um, it'll be cool to see what he, him in action too. 
He, I really love his design. Uh, but yeah, the Kaminari's <laughs> kind of freaked out. I guess, yeah, he's with this group. Oh yeah, so yeah, oh, Tokiyami's there too. Tokiyami and, uh, Kaminari. And some, oh, that, that, some dude looks like Sonic? <laughs> like this little impish guy with spiky hair. He's, it looks like he's got rings too. Is he just, is he just like Sonic basically? But yeah, <laughs> that's interesting. But, uh, yeah, so yeah, Kaminari's looking freaked out. Midnight's trying to calm him down. You knew what you were getting into. We need your quirk. Uh, just think of it as uh, helping out the adults uh, who don't have what it takes. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, Kaminari's quirk is very useful. Uh, don't have what it takes. Nope, never thought, of, never thought that at all. <laughs> it's okay, I'll be like, Kaminari. I learned uh, something watching you uh, play guitar. You're amazing. So yeah, they're talking about back in the uh, the school when they're getting ready for the, the school festival, which is actually going on in the anime right now. So that's pretty good timing. Uh, praising my shredding skills, not helping here. <laughs> Tokyo was like, um, no. <laughs> Open up. I think that Cementos, who said that. So yeah, okay. Oh, so Cementos is the one who's breaking down the wall. That makes sense. I guess he makes like some giant um, concrete structure or something. Or maybe he can control like walls to, if they're made of concrete. Which is really broken because he could just like open up your fortress if it's made of concrete. But yeah, it just looks like a big old whole mess. Like, like just crack the building open. The concrete's warping, yep, I was right. Yeah, the, the walls are made of concrete, so Smetoth can just walk right in. Uh, the conference is canceled. G get word to the assembly hall. <laughs> so yeah, the skeptic is freaking out even more than Kaminari. Violent and black regiments to the front entrance. <laughs> Brown, get out there too. Carmine to the assembly hall. They got us good, Mr. Skeptic. So let's shake things up. <laughs> okay. Alright, here's this guy. We, we probably saw him before in, in a, few, a few chapters ago when they showed the uh, the different regiments for the, the Paranormal Liberation Army. This guy is probably one of them, but I, I, don't, I don't remember. I gotta look back, but this guy's got a X scar on his forehead. He's smoking a cigarette. Looks this looks pretty cool coming out like a badass. Let's shake things up. <laughs> Cementos is really focusing. You can see you can see the veins in Cementos's forehead, which I wouldn't have thought would be possible since he's like made of concrete. But yeah, he's definitely got the forehead veins going. <laughs> see, I've never seen him make of like such a focused face like that. He's usually always kind of like, mm. <laughs> yeah. That's wow. Okay, yeah, he just he just opened their hideout right up. It's, this is a really cool image here, of like just like it's like a splash of concrete everywhere as he just opens up the wall, and the, it's going to the ground too. It's just like that. This is really a badass. Actually, Cementos is awesome. We've never seen him like in action like this. So yeah, that's a really cool page right there. Uh. Okay, and then this guy, uh, then looks like something's sticking out, and then this, the guy with the cigarette walks out. This is what happens when we're just waiting for Shigaraki or whoever. I say we get this started. See, this guy's pretty confident. He's got, he's got the jacket hanging off of his uh, shoulders, which in anime, when you see an older character with like a jacket hanging off their shoulders, like just, they're just cool. You need to watch out because that person's probably strong as hell. So yeah, we'll see what this guy can do. Oh, uh, we got this cool like face off double page spread of the heroes and the villains. About to duke it out. It's time for the liberation revolution. Wow, that's a <laughs> that's a, that sounds like a like a video game or something. The liberation revolution. So yeah, we see all the villains. 
got uh yeah I'll, yeah I, I recognize some of these people from the the lineup of the different factions in the Liber Liberation Army. So you see like this zombie looking Skeletor dude. He's got like holes in his body and like a, like a bowl cut. This chick next to him has got like her mouth covered up by this cool like thing. <laughs> I don't even know what you call it. Like a collar I guess. Then it's got this sweet little lady in front of them. <laughs> yeah, you look out. If you see a, a creepy little old lady or, or like a sweet old lady on the bad guy side. You need to watch out for her most of all. That's the one that's going to fuck you up. <laughs> but yeah, we got this really cool dude. Probably my favorite here is is that, like, this, like, I don't know. Like, he, he kind of looks like um, uh, Judge Death from, like, Judge Dredd. Like, he's just, like, he got this big, crazy mouth. He doesn't look human. He's wearing, like, this, like, like this airman, like, bomber type of, like, hats like this like covering his like eyes he's really he's really cool looking and somebody's got a sword oh it's, it's that guy next to him who kind of looks like a like a pokemon or something uh, i don't know if that's his head or it's like something he wears but like he's got a pretty interesting shaped head but yeah he's the one who's got the katana and uh, yeah he got this creepy guy with like a, a, ma a breathing mask that looks like like one of them, like the uh the alien from from the first alien movie that like that they found on the planet that, that was already dead like um and they tried to retcon in Prometheus but he looks like one of those uh, space jockeys I think that's what they're called he looks like one of those kind of um then this big creepy grinning dude behind him so yeah you got a big uh, eclectic group of baddies here Going to, oh, and this fat gum too. He's here. He's on the hero side, obviously. But yeah, yeah. He, I didn't. I, yeah, it's cool. The fat gum's here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah, fat gum was a part of this. Him and Sun Eater too. So they're both there. So wow, this is gonna be a big, crazy ass fight, man. It would really suck if it just like cut to something else. <laughs> it's this. It's, it, the the build up for this fight is pretty crazy. Oh, okay. We see. It was, well, the. The house is shaking, and it's like rubble falling, and then we see Toga in a compress. They're like, whoa, what's going on? And Toga, her eye seems to be healed because she's not wearing an eye patch anymore. Some people were thinking she might have lost her eye. I was like, holy shit, but the, um, no, she seems to have both eyes. She looks she looks good. Uh, so yeah, they, so the, the villains are just getting their shit together. They're just frantic, like, holy shit. So they're just trying to get their bearings or whatever. This is definitely a surprise attack, uh, but yeah, we see we see um, Apocrypha and a bunch of other villains. There's Dobby in the background, so I can't wait to see him in action. Of course, uh, on my boy Edge shot get get to panel close up. Uh, don't let anyone escape. Uh, they're well trained and ready to uh, give their lives to the cause. If any of them get out, they could keep terrorizing other places. In order to protect, we must attack. And Kaminari's really looking scared here. <laughs> Charge. Midnight Sensei. Don't let the stage overwhelm you. If imagining random people elsewhere doesn't do the trick, then think of the person who matters most to you right now. Right now? So Kaminari looks back. He's looking back as far as he can to... to, to past the heroes that are charging in. I wonder who he cares about most. I want to be with you guys. So he's always thinking about thinking about the, uh, the other team that's supposed to intercept the, the, the people who escape. Get it done, Charge Bolt. So that's Jiro. Oh boy. <laughs> that Jiro Kaminari ship is definitely sailing. So yeah, I de I def I do ship those. I've always shipped those two. So yeah, he's uh, it'd be nice if we see like maybe a little more hint towards that possible romance. So yeah, he's so uh, apparently his friends are what he cares about most, especially Jiro. So yeah, we'll see where that goes. So yeah, we're back to uh, Scarface with the jacket on his shoulders. Your numbers don't matter. He's. Is that a taser? Looks like, he's, looks like he's got a taser. He's pointing it into his own palm. 
I'll crank up my uh, Amplivolts uh, current and unleash it at full power. It reigns supreme. Oh, so this guy's got kind of got Kaminari's quirk. He's got electricity quirk. He, he, he needed a taser to get it started. But yeah, he just charged you right through him. He's just, now he's just bursting with electricity. Kaminari's like, oh shit. <laughs> so yeah, holy shit. Okay, we got another we got another Electa buzz, but on the bad guys team. Um, let me see. Uh, Tokiyami says, Kaminari, I know you know. Oh, I I know you now. Oh, it's a, I guess it's like a flashback to when they're learning guitar or whatever. Oh, shall we stop for today? <laughs> I love Tokiyami. He just says the word shall in, in uh, everyday conversation, even though he's a teenager. You, uh, nah, let's go a little longer. That Jiro, she acts all uh, she acts all shy and awkward, but I know she's nuts about music. So we ought to do our best to perform, yeah? From the bottom of your heart, you care deeply about your friends. <laughs> Zap! Supreme Discharge Thunder Net. Okay, this guy's definitely bursting with his electricity. I guess he's doing a big, uh, a, a, a wide range electric attack called Thundernet. So yeah, this this guy alone is pretty dangerous. Electricity is not something you fuck with. <laughs> so yeah, it's a, uh oh. Oh my God, this panel is so cool. This page is so cool. My lightning attack, oh my lightning attack is getting sucked up. There you go, one big commander guy totally neutralized. Now let's mop up the others real quick so the guys we left behind don't need to worry. This is an awesome page for Kaminari right here. He's, oh my god, he's like full, he looks like a rock star superhero. He just like, he's got his shades, he's got his confidence. The electricity, he just sucks up this guy's electricity attack with one finger. He's just holding up one finger in the air, but it posing. And it's like, and his finger is at the top panel of the page. So it's like, and like, he's like, he's over all the panels of the pages. Like, so the way it's like drawn, it's like, it's really cool. Cause like his, his image is like superimposed over the whole page and all the panels. So it's like the top page is his finger, and then it, the middle panel, I mean the top panel is his finger sticking up into it, and the electricity is sucking into it. And then the middle panel is like a like a far away shot of him, and then the final panel is a, is a close up on his pose, but his arm is going through all three of those panels, and like his finger is up, that's really, the way that's drawn is really cool. That is awesome, man. <laughs> I've never seen Kaminari look this awesome. This is badass right here. So yeah, th uh, that's cool. It's a buzz. Okay, now we cut to uh, somewhere inside the mansion. Everything's falling apart. What the heck's going on here? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh damn, Hawks has got twice. He's got him fucking he's got him surrounded by feathers pointed right at him and he's and he's standing in the doorway with two feather swords. And he's like completely shaded out. Look at he's looking like the, he's looking like the villain and twice is looking like the helpless victim here. Dude, <laughs> Hawks is ready to kill twice right now. He is not playing around. <laughs> Twice is just sweating like, huh? <laughs> he doesn't know what's going on. Holy shit. That is also incredible art. This, man, Horikoshi is so... His art is so amazing. But yeah, that's the end of the chapter. That, that was quite a chapter and quite an ending there. Those last two, Those last two pages are really good. Next chapter hits March 15th. So, oh man, and Hawks' eyes too. He's got the eyes of a hawk. And that's really all you can see because everything else is completely 
like in shadow. It just it looks like a horror movie almost or horror manga. Like oh, it's really cool. <laughs> and, and twice he's like upside down too. So I guess he he rough, or I guess maybe because the house is like shaking and everything. Twice like fell over and like landed on his head, and then Hawks just took that opportunity to just like completely like enclose him in in feathers. So yeah, we'll see where that goes because they kind of had a little friendship unless Hawks was just completely acting. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, that that'll be an interesting fight. That's for sure. This. This arc is, is crazy so far. <laughs> this this raid arc is just it keeps getting better and better. I was not really prepared for this arc. You, like or at least not this soon. Like this is like I don't know where this is going. This is this is like I did not expect the heroes in the in this new big villain group to come head to head that quick. And the heroes wanted a surprise attack. Like you know, that's why they, they surprised them with you know, in with and going to the compound uh, with the surprise attack and it surprised me too because this is this is going from zero to 60 <laughs> like holy shit like i don't know where this i don't know where this arc is going now because I, all i know is it's gonna be just some crazy fights but uh yeah i don't know who's gonna who knows who live or die on either side in this arc we don't who knows what could happen who knows when maybe shigaraki will wake up like maybe he's, he's uh, we don't know exactly how much he has to go. Or well, we know he has like thirty percent or more like twenty nine percent technically. Last we checked, um, but he might wake up early, and so yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I'll definitely be. <laughs> I'm definitely reading with bated breath now. So yeah, until the next chapter. Uh, this is Parastyle Jutsu uh, signing out. Don't hurt twice, Hawk. He's a nice boy.